I read Orlando as a young girl and I was really taken uh, by the ideas in the book. The fact that uh, someone could live their life as a man and then change into a woman. It's also a very luscious book. It's very uh, right for us stylistically. It's very visual. There is a lot in terms of symbolism and imagery to draw from. So that was very attractive to us. It fits right into the themes that the rabble always deal with, which is uh, how do you represent the self and how do you represent gender and how can we play with that. The response often to our work is maybe an intuitive response or a feel that like comes from feeling rather than intellect. So I think it's an experience and I hope that the audience kind of take it and be open to an experience, whether they intellectually understand it or not I don't think is important I think the work is made from that place so in a way if they can somehow view it as an experience or experience the experience then it would be great I think that's the way to tap into that world and that sword is really heavy yeah yeah I think that's gonna help yeah yeah because she's weak yeah and feeble, but in that moment she's really strong. Maybe you could just stab the mound. Okay. And I don't want it to be futile. Because I think that's really disempowering. No, no. Okay. It's, it's real. Yeah. No, yeah. she's really got some real power. One yeah, of Orlando's she... first journeys, Orlando has a, a series of meetings with different figures, and uh, this one happens to be uh, a real figure from history, who's Queen Elizabeth. And our Queen Elizabeth is... Um, a very powerful and very old and sexually confused <laughs> woman who uh, meets youthful Orlando and um, is very attracted to him and uh, takes him under her wing and we get to see her address the crowd as well and we're using one of uh, Queen Elizabeth's or a couple of different pieces of uh, Queen Elizabeth's real speeches which just demonstrate her love for her people and her sacrifice for her people and uh, she really did uh, sacrifice any kind of domestic life or any kind of sexual life um, to be able to rule her people and um, that seems very specific to be her being a woman. Um, so uh, it's a very crucial character. Uh, and in the book, she is only in maybe five pages. Uh, but we've, uh, in terms of percentage, <laughs> we've really expanded that idea. We've, um, we find her a, quite a, a core idea in the book. Identity and um, gender and sexuality are things that are very personal and, you, and your identification with them is very personal and I think that uh, or I hope that the audience comes away with their own questions in regards to their own identity. Our work I think is very open morally, it um, sort of cracks open uh, taboo subjects that people often have trouble with and then asks the audience to 
define for themselves where they sit in that. Thank you.